Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. No nonsense, straightforward, pack a punch unlock guide for Zetsubo no Shima. Let's go. First of all, you need to follow the steps to permanently activate the power. Now, I've already made a detailed guide for this, which is linked in the description and on screen right now. Just in case you need a refresher, I'm going to recap those steps just to make sure that we are all up to speed. Pick up a bucket and fill it up with irradiated water. Then, you can fill up the machines in the labs. There are two of them, and once they're both filled up, the bunker in the middle of the map is able to be opened. Enter the bunker, go to the Pack-a-Punch, turn left, go to the power room, unblock the turbine in the water in front of the power switch, and then kill all the zombies underwater down there, which will open the door back up, and you can turn the power on. Like I said, detailed description in the description down below. Now that you've done all that, if you go back into the water, opposite that main power switch, you'll find a machine tools part floating in the air, or rather floating in the water, just in front of the turbine. This is the first part you need to drain the Pack-a-Punch and grant yourself access to it. The next machine tools part is in the room straight past the Pack-a-Punch. Go down the spiral stairs, and once you're down there, turn to your right and open the buyable door. In front of you, you'll have the operation room, and in the operation room, there's a tunnel. Jump into the water and travel along the tunnel. There's going to be a glowing wheel somewhere on the floor in those tunnels. For example, in my gameplay here, I took a right turn initially and found the wheel on my left just here. One thing to remember is that if you don't bob up for air, your character will drown, so be super careful here, get air if ever you need it. If you can't spot the wheel for whatever reason, then just go back to the beginning of the tunnel and try going a different route. With a bit of perseverance, you should be able to spot it, but if you still have trouble after that, I'm sure there are going to be people in the comments who will happily help out. I'll also have some tips in the description as well. Once you've got that part, you're ready to go and fetch your final one. You're super nearly there now, so great job so far, keep up the good work. The last machine tools part is in the room on the right side of the Pack-a-Punch, which makes sense, one on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. This is the room full of dead bodies. You need to go in here and start destroying those bodies. As you can see, I'm knifing them here, as I reckon that is the best way to do it. Each time you knife a body bag, it should break, and one of the bags will drop the last machine part. For me, it was this one just here, just by the buildables bench. I want to quickly make clear that you don't have to grab this part last, you can mix the order up if you feel so inclined, that's fine. And if you get stuck, like I said, read the description, because in all my guides I always add some helpful tips to the description for people that need a little extra boost. Now that you have your three machine tool parts, you can head back to the Pack-a-Punch, and you'll notice that around the Pack-a-Punch enclosure walls, there are three little pumps. Your parts are going to fix those pumps, so hold square on each of them, and your machine parts will attach to them. Each time you do so, some water will drain from the Pack-a-Punch itself. Once you've done all three, the door will open in front of the PAP, and you'll have successfully gained access to the Zetsubo no Shima Pack-a-Punch. Congratulations, I really hope this guide was useful, and if it was, a like on the video would be a great way for you to say thank you. Hopefully, I'll see you in another guide very soon, and as always, if you need to follow up, you can find me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.